Hi guys, this is Simeon. It has been a while. Last week was super busy. My sister got married. A lot of preparation, a lot of guests, friends, and new people um, from Germany and Sweden and all over the place. So um, I was crazy. The weather was absolutely unbelievable. We have had for four weeks straight um, super warm temperatures. Um, it just has been unbelievable. This actually um, is going to go into history as the hottest May month ever in Sweden since they started recording weather data. Now how does that have to do with anything related to this channel? The thing is that usually we can put our animals out on pasture from somewhere the second to the third week in May. So um, I think last year we had them out on pasture maybe mid-May or the, around the 20th of May. Now it's the end of May still and I for the first time ever am attempting to do two cuts of hay because this weather is supposed to be um, for another week and it's super dry and super excited about my field here behind the greenhouse I'm gonna show you in a second I mowed it yesterday there was a lot on it and it's not even chewing unbelievable normally we have like three inches of grass right now there was a lot on there and this is the result of three years of permaculture chicken on there um, and really trying to improve that field a lot and all we have done is rotational grazing and putting chickens on there as well and there's much more on there than all of the other fields around us here and no chemical fertilizers nothing whatsoever and super excited about it and if we get another stretch of nice weather in July I'll be able to get in two hay harvests on that field now the other fields where we didn't have chickens on and so on they're by far not there yet but this is gonna be super high quality hay so I mowed yesterday and something broke on the tractor and um, I gotta fix this bolt here let me show you so this entire thing here just tore off when I was mowing and I didn't have the right bolt at home I just bought this 14 millimeter bolt on this tiny tractor Can you imagine this thing just tearing off straight through that's amazing now one thing that you also have to understand is how exciting this is for me to cut this field that um, when we moved here there w wasn't even a thought about being able to make hay on any of our fields. I mean, they were so overgrown and they were in horrible condition. Actually, there was uh, trees and bushes growing on there. Um, we had to open all the fields up. There were tree stumps everywhere. And now to be able to make hay on there and actually have it to be one of the best fields around here. Um, and already in May, when we actually have our first growth of grass, you know, to actually have this kind of growth on there, that's just absolutely amazing.
Okay, so down here on the side by the forest, there's not that much grass, but then further up on the pasture, it's really nice. So um, this is my first turning of the hay now, and I hope that by the end of the week, we'll actually be able to um, harvest the hay. Last time I got a bunch of questions about um, my wire and the water here and why the water is so close to the wire and it is close to the wire on purpose um, because you do not want the cows to get comfortable close to the water. If they would have a river 
or a huge lake basically um, lots and lots of water it wouldn't matter you know if the cows would walk through the water if manure would get in it and all of that because you just have constant flow of fresh water but when you have a small water you obviously want the water to stay clean and by putting it close to the hot wire the cows will drink but they will not be so comfortable close to the water which means they will not lay down they will not block it for other cattle once they're done drinking water they will move on make room for other cattle and they won't stay close to the water and it is more unlikely for them to drop manure into the water and I recently watched a, a documentary about um, some animals um, in Africa where there's also very limited water in the dry season and there were these herbivores that were coming to the water and there was just you know a fairly small um, amount of water for a huge herd of herbivores and in the water there were um, predators crocodiles and stuff and they knew that and so what happened they would be scared to drink but they would go very carefully to it and and I was observing this and I was realizing that you know it is dangerous for them to drink water because of the predators but also what happens there would be no predators this huge herd of herbivores would just go all in the water and would just contaminate all of it and and there would be so much manure in it that they would get sick they couldn't drink this water anymore so the predators were actually keeping the herd so uncomfortable close to the water that they would that way the water would stay clean and it's a little bit the same um, principle here that this hot wire makes the cows uncomfortable enough so that they drink without danger without anything bad but uncomfortable enough not to rest here so that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video hope you also have good weather where you are bye bye